get your shit together. Time is passing by very quickly. Why do you think I smoke weed all the time? So I could slow it down. You guys are the young guys today, and Pete is, in some sense, the voice of a younger generation. How do you think his voice specifically speaks to a younger generation? Younger meaning, like, 25 and younger. I think that that generation are kind of the first generation generation who are openly willing to start to openly talk about issues like grief and mental health. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the fact that, you know, Pete is making a movie that has those, you know, issues at the forefront um, is an incredible thing because hopefully, you know, those people are the kind of people who are going to watch it and it's going to start up those conversations. I think that's very true. And there's something... I mean, very personable and vulnerable about Pete. And I think as we're being more open about having like difficult conversations and being more open about our feelings, I think he's done a great job doing that in this movie. And yeah. Belle, um, your character in this reps hard for Staten Island. Like she wants to make Staten Island cool again, even though some people think it's already cool. Um, you've been there. What do you like about Staten Island? <sighs> Oh, everything. I'd actually, like, I'd been to New York so many times and worked there so many times and never set foot in Staten Island. And I'm so glad that I made a whole movie there because the people on Staten Island are the coolest, like, the kind of strongest, like, most forthright, like, love the place. They, like, it's full of, like, ballsy people, which I think is really <laughs> Also, amazing Italian food. Amazing. You make everyone around you feel crazy. People are normal, then they hang out with you, and then they're fucking Jack Nicholson in The Shining or something. So this movie, Mod, obviously is directed by your dad. What quirks, you know, is there the the safe, I guess, safer work quirks does your dad have that you're like, that's my dad. That's kind of, oh my gosh, now I can't think of anything because I'm being, <laughs> there's 8,000 things, I'm sure. This is something I noticed about my dad on site. He's going to get so mad at me. But like he talks the lines like w when he's watching the monitor, he'll be like muttering under his breath because he's so focused. I don't know. I noticed that about him. <laughs> when we were shooting, I don't know if that's yeah, right that. there, but <laughs> I think a lot of people don't get to see their parents in their like work situations. So for you, it's interesting that you you do get to see that, and you have for so long. Yeah, I mean, it's different now because like the last time I worked with my dad was almost ten years ago, and I was twelve years old, and so <laughs> I don't think I was fully aware of what was happening even, and so to go from working on other things with other people to working with him again has been really interesting and it's it's really cool to get him or to be able to see him work and how he works is pretty unique and I think it's very inspiring to watch for me. What have you watched, read, or listened to in the past couple months? We'll do this like rapid fire that you've really loved, like something you want to just like rep for really quick. Uh, Belle, do you want to go first? Normal people. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I read Normal I, People and watched the whole show in one day. And I loved it so much. so brilliant because it's ostensibly a book and a show about people feeling stuff. Like it, it's, a, it has, it's a genius what they've done because there isn't really a plot. You're just like watching young kids like have feelings and it's, so beautiful and the acting is stunning and i just thought it was amazing what are you gonna do are you gonna get a job or are you gonna leave the house i'm gonna open that tattoo restaurant no like for real it's never been done before i looked it up 